eyes. Thomas, I shall meet you at the car, he shouted down. Posters, do you think I should bring posters? Will there be fans? Thomas, I have pens. Uh, it's, an, it's an airport crumbed, no posters. Yes, I'll bring some, just in case. In the car, it was obvious quite how excited he was, and he prattled unceasingly as we drove through the streets. Did you hear? Melvis B. Hickney died. Now there was a director. He knew how to handle us. If he was disgusted by our diets or our habits, he never let it show. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely man. Well, there was that drug-fueled murder, but apart from that, like much of Berlin, the airport was undergoing sizable reconstruction, which meant that given our mutual struggle with the German language, it took a while to find where to find Kron's friends off their flights. I, I never knew quite how to deal with recognising Kron's otherworldly co-stars. Uh, you could go by their appearance in posters from their heyday, uh, but decades had passed, and who knew how they might age, if at all. The wolfman from Sirius seemed completely unchanged from his glory days, while the creature from the Black Lagoon had turned grey. <laughs> Kron bounded over to them, his claw arms more than lengthy enough to surround them both. The creature twitchily fished out a cigarette. Uh, we can uh, smoke in the airport, can't we, kid? He asked me, lighting up before I could answer. The wolfman gave nothing away, his eyes hidden behind expensive sunglasses. <laughs> My friends, it is so good to see you! Hans' single giant unblinking eye seemed to have lit up. <laughs> it's been far too long. <laughs> Fine! No. Not for me, not, not anymore, but I'll happily have orange juice, began the creature. At the wine bar, Kron's ebullience so, showed no signs of abated, helped no end when an old couple sitting nearby asked for his autograph, and he was able to furnish them with a full-sized poster. <laughs> <laughs> Say, is this it? The wolfman drawled as Kron wallowed in the attention. Just, just the three of us? His barely concealed sneer revealed perfectly whitened teeth, <laughs> and he began to occupy himself with his suit sleeves, making sure they were rolled up to show off his coiffured arm hair. <laughs> I gave an update on what I knew. Quirk, the robot from Mars, had recently had a bout of unsuccessful upgrade surgery, <laughs> and was in seclusion until the magnetic tape could be retightened. <laughs> While the vampire princess of Venus was going through her seventh acrimonious divorce and wanted to be alone. <laughs> and as for the blob, who oh, we didn't invite the blob! <laughs> Hello, Trond. Oh, thank goodness, the bitch. What a diva. <laughs>